somebody who knows the truth doesn't mean that that person is a Muslim. It's a very deep point here. What is a Muslim then? Someone who submits to the truth. Because the meaning of Islam is not knowledge, it is submission. That's what Islam means, right? To merely know the truth doesn't make you a Muslim. Iblis knows the truth. Iblis accepts everything in his heart. He knows it conceptually. Think about it. Does Iblis deny that Allah is the Rabb? No. In fact, Iblis affirms Allah is my Rabb. And he says to Allah, Rabbi, Qala Rabbi. Iblis is saying in the Quran, Qala Rabbi. And Iblis affirms that the prophets are prophets. Iblis does not deny that Adam is a prophet. Iblis does not deny that Allah sends prophets, right? He knows this. Iblis does not deny that there's a day of judgment. Qala Rabbi, anzirni ila yawmi yub'athun. Right? Allow me to live until the day of judgment. In fact, Iblis even worships Allah occasionally because he makes dua to Allah to allow him to live. Right? If he didn't worship Allah, he wouldn't make dua to Allah. Yet, is Iblis a mu'min? Does Iblis have iman in Allah? Obviously not. Aba wa stakbara wa kana minal kafirin. Allah calls him a kafir. How is he a kafir if he knows Allah to be true? and knows the prophets to be prophets, and knows that Allah gives life and resurrects. And how is he a kafir? Allah says, Abba. He refused to obey when Allah told him to do something. He was too arrogant to prostrate. Right? And therefore, a kafir can be somebody who doesn't know the truth. A kafir can be somebody who doesn't recognize the truth. A kafir can, can be somebody who rejects the truth. But a kafir can also be somebody who knows the truth, but for some reason, whatever that reason might be, refuses to act upon it. And this gets to, to the very controversial issue. I'm just going to mention it, make your mind stimulated, but unfortunately I don't have time to, to, to whip up a nice... Uh, academic talk now, I give that in other places. But what do we say then to the Muslim who knows Islam to be, I call him Muslim meaning he calls himself Muslim, right? Who knows Islam to be true, but he never does anything that he is required to do. Think about the question here. The Muslim who know, meaning he calls himself Muslim, right? What is the difference between Abu Talib and such a Muslim, in that they both recognize Allah is one. Abu Talib did not worship idols. We know this, right? Abu Talib did not, his, his poetry is pure Tawheed. He knows idolatry is ridiculous. So they recognize Allah is one. They recognize the Prophet is a true Prophet, but the both of them are refusing to submit to the laws of Islam. The only difference is that the one says, I'm a Muslim, and the other says, I'm not. And in fact, the one who says he's not a Muslim, linguistically, it makes more sense because he understands what a Muslim is. And so he said, I haven't submitted, so I'm not a Muslim. Whereas the one who says he's a Muslim is saying, I submit, but in action, he's not submitting at all, right? And therefore, uh, and this is, I know this uh, is a deep topic, but uh, the fact of the matter is somebody who says he or she is a Muslim, but never ever does anything of this religion. He doesn't pray, he doesn't fast, he doesn't give zakah, he doesn't do anything of the sharia of this religion. This theoretical saying, I'm a Muslim, is not much different than the iman, quote unquote, of Abu Talib and of Iblis.